Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Oserberg501, and today I want to go over another DLC3 legendary weapon. Now, before we get into the overview, I have had a lot of time to farm. Better rolls have a lot of these weapons, so they're going to have good anointed, better rolls. So take that consideration when looking at the overall power of any of these items that have good rolls on them. And also, going forward, I'm not going to talk about where these weapons drop from because they're pretty much all just a named enemy somewhere or a boss. I will have a link in the description to a Google Doc that has the drop of every single single thing in the game so if you want to know where you have to go farm these items from you can just check in there very easily don't have to come back to the video you can just save that google doc and know where everything drops very easily so the weapon we're looking at today is the flipper a maliwan smg this is one of the strongest weapons of the game it's absolutely ridiculous and it's just pretty cool how it works it's basically a maliwan minigun what happens when you first shoot it it does have a slight charge up but when you first shoot it it shoots two shots out now what's going to happen Happen is as you're shooting it's going to quickly charge up more shots and shoot more projectiles pretty sure it goes two five seven nine if i'm not mistaken pretty sure that's the same on every single one and when you're shooting it just keeps charging up then it goes into nine shots that makes it just do more and more damage it does not take more ammo when you're charging up getting more shots so this one has 61 ammo with all of my different talents and stats and everything with the fire rate it does not shred through ammo super super quickly Quickly, especially for an SMG that has the highest ammo pool in the game. It just does so much damage. And also, this deals splash damage. Every shot deals splash damage. It also is increasing the pellet amount. So anything that has procs off shooting a target or it has a chance for shooting a target that gets increased with more pellets, this will increase. So if you're on Zane with Seeing Dead, you'll have higher chances to proc all of his kill skills. If you're on Moe's right here, you'll have higher chances to proc short fuse because you're hitting so many times once you're shooting that many bullets specifically how mo's once you have short fuse and you shoot in the target it's just proccing pretty much every shot it's absolutely ridiculous on the target dummy take into consideration i have the radiation anointed on this so it's going to do radiation damage with no talents in this thing is just dealing hundreds of thousands of damage per shot it's absolutely ridiculous you can see 200,000 hits in there even from the radiation damage both the corrosive and the radiation damage some of these shots with this anointed on it is dealing like 500k damage it is absolutely ridiculous the amount of damage this thing puts out it's very easy to use because it's just a small charge up has good magazine sizes so you can just spray it pretty much has no recoil it's just very very easy to hit it basically just makes like a small box that it puts all of the pellets in just makes it incredibly easy to shoot again one of the strongest weapons in the game and that's pretty much all this weapon does it's very simple just a charge up melee one weapon can come in every element don't think it has times pellets that's pretty much to stop it from you know being like 18 pellets or something like that when you charge it up just incredibly strong just a charge up just pretty much a minigun that starts spraying out more pellets per shot doesn't consume more ammo once you're starting to shoot more pellets per shot it's just absolutely ridiculous it's going to be strong on pretty much every character because it's so strong on most it's super good because it deals splash damage which synergizes with most of your talents on amara it's a melee one weapon so it's a good elemental weapon that amara is amazing with she also has charge time reduction to make this just easier to use easier to charge up faster has good magazine size with indiscriminate on amara that ricochets bullets it'll be incredibly strong because i'm pretty sure it should ricochet all nine if you're charged up enough if you're on zen any gun that just sprays out tons of bullets very quickly is incredibly strong even on flak which it would overall be a little bit weaker for still is just so so strong in overall damage that you could use this on a flak crit build or something like that uses action skill and this thing's just going to destroy something because of how good the damage actually is so that's pretty much all i want to go over with the flipper subscribe if you want to see more borderlands 3 videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this weapon and thanks for watching
you. After that last performance, I must say you got my brothers and sisters shaking in their collective booties. But I got a good feeling about our chances on this one. Walk on, player. Another circle of slaughter, sponsored by me, Tark. <laughs> yeah, madhouse. It's gonna be a fucking madhouse out there. Fuck yeah. The time of the 